Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, Bible Journaler here on YouTube with the first in my Advent series for 2017. It's going to be a series of four on hope, peace, joy, and love. And I'm going to show you four different ways to use one idea for your Bible journaling that you can expand and use in a bunch of different ways. And I would love it if you would share your devotions on hope, peace, joy, and love, your Bible journaling pages on my Facebook page. I'm going to have these at the, hopefully at the top of the page, I'm going to try to pin my picture and you can look for that one and then share yours in the comments so we can all see what you have learned about each one of these topics during that week of Advent. I'm going to start off by showing you how I'm making some banners for my Bible. And I wanted to start off by showing you the difference between tracing paper, which is on the right, and most tracing paper is the same, whatever the brand, and the Juvale vellum is on the left and it's a lot easier to use the vellum it's a little thicker and it's also smoother so you can see through it more easily but i'm going to make a banner out of some cardstock first that i'm going to use all throughout all four of these because i'm going to do four different ways to use a banner in your bible journaling and to make the bottom i just cut up the center and then cut in from the two corners to make a relatively even <laughs> banner it doesn't have to be perfect you can measure if you want to but I'm going to make four banners out of these. I've printed out the words from my computer and printed them at a size that's going to work for me. And I'm putting them a little bit higher up on the banner so I have room for some words down below them. You'll see how that plays out as I do each one of the Bible journaling pages. But you can center them. You can put whatever words you want in them by making your own and printing words out of your own computer in order to do this on your Bible. And after these four weeks, you'll have four different ways that you can use this kind of a banner idea. And now I can add my secondary phrase in pencil and then in pen. The verse is from Isaiah this week that I'm using. A shoot will come up from the stump of Jesse. From his roots, a branch will bear fruit. The spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and of understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of the knowledge and fear of the Lord, and he will delight in the fear of the Lord. And you can use this verse or you can use any verse you wish for your devotional this week. Transfer my image into my Bible. I'm going to first place the traced image down there because then I can get the word centered right. So my word hope in the place that I want it. And then I'm going to use my template again, my little cutout banner. I'll use that all week long to trace the shape once I have that in there, and then I can add my words. I could also trace the words straight from the computer printout or from this little one that I've made, this little piece on tracing paper to add this in here. And depending on whether or not you're going to add your words right away at the bottom, you can add them in or wait until later to pencil those in. I'm gonna sketch in a stump because the whole thing that I loved about this verse for years and years and years is that God brought a stump out of Jesse. Like this is one of those many illustrations in the Bible where we learn that God can take things that seem to be dead, that seem to not be going anywhere, like my life, <laughs> and he can grow something new in it. And that is a wonderful thing. You know, if I am willing to repent and surrender to his will, he can just take the mess that is my life and turn it into something. Not quite the way Jesus has had done because, gosh, he has been my salvation. I can't reach to that level, but I can be used of him. Even if I feel like my life is a dead stump, he can create new things. I'm using colored pencils to color this in. So I've used a couple of browns to just throw some colors into a lumpy stump. It's very easy to draw. And since it is easy to draw, I'm not going to be putting the sketches for things like the tree and the stump in the description, but I will have my sketch, my black and white sketch of the hope, uh, the hope, love, peace, joy thing that I did. So if you want to get that and use these this week, you're welcome to do that. Um, you can use them this week and you can use them all four weeks, or you can create your own Bible page in whatever way you want to. I'm looking more for people to share on the theme of hope and whatever hope means to you, please do share that on my Facebook because I would love to join with 
the community and fellowship of believers in getting our hearts prepared for Christmas. As you can see, my little tree is actually a Christmas tree. I know it's not a Christmas tree in the Bible. They were probably not referring to a pine tree with a little Christmas ball on it. But there was just something in me that felt like doing something Christmassy-ish. And just because it's Christmassy-ish in the modern sense doesn't mean that it's not going to be applicable in your Bible journaling. So I'm going to use the Christmas colors for this as well. My banner here is actually going to be white and I can do my lettering in pencil. I can get a micron colored pen as well to do those. They do have nice sets of micron colored pens, which of course would be a great thing to put on your Santa Claus list. Micron pens, because those are fabulous, both in colors and in a selection of black in different widths would be a fabulous idea. And Prismacolor pencils are another fun thing. They do take a while, so these videos in this series are going to be sped up because I'm going to use pencil throughout. So the big portions that are just like crazy wild backgrounds, I'll keep those sped up so you don't sit and watch me color forever. I wanted to add some more contrast to it, so I'm going around the edge with a black pencil. You could also do this with a black pen. And I find that a pencil keeps me kind of sketchy and loose, which is good. I wanted to add some more color to my green. I had picked more of a, a pine olive kind of green, but I wanted something a little brighter, a little more Christmassy. So I added another layer of color. And then I wanted my sky to be a little bit darker because of something else I wanted to add to it. I'm going to show you one more thing that would be a great stocking stuffer to ask for for Christmas in just a few minutes. But I needed more color on here before that was going to work because when it's really light color, this next step is not going to show up. Okay, well, the next step after this step, first I'm gonna go around the mic with the Micron pen and add some stitching around my banner. Those of you who do fabric stuff can do all kinds of beautiful things with banners if you want to as well. I'm gonna go around my, my tree a little bit as well, add a little bit of sharper detail because my pencil wasn't super sharp. And then I thought I'd add a few little weeds because if you're picturing a little stump in the forest, it's not gonna be surrounded by nothing. So I thought it'd be fun to add just some little weedy type of things. And here is now the fun. They make this Sharpie pen that's water-based so it doesn't go through. And it makes wonderful, wonderful snow in, in Bible journaling pages. Uh, it makes fatter snow and they're a little bit softer than the Uniball Signo pen that I often use. But look how cute that is. It's such a Christmassy page. Yours doesn't have to be Christmas themed at all. Yours can just be hope themed. So share it on my Facebook page. There's a link in the description to my Facebook as well as to these banners. But you can also make your own banners because I showed you how. Just print some things off your computer, cut yourself out a template, and you're ready to go. And I will see you next week on the second Sunday of Advent. Bye-bye. God bless you.